Hello students welcome to the online lectures of Kids Planet High School This lecture is for standard 5 subject maths chapter number work Let us now begin So students in the last lecture we learned about five digit numbers and we solved few sums based on them Today we are going to study about six digit numbers The greatest five digit number is 99999 When we add 1 to this number we get the next number which is 1 lakh 1 lakh is a six digit number to write this one place to the left of 10000s place has to be introduced in the number 1 lakh the digit 1 is in the lakhs place this number is read as 1 lakh or 100000 while reading a six digit number first read the digit in the lakhs place and then read the rest of the five digit number let us start with problem set 3 in which we will see six digit numbers read the numbers and write them in words the first number is 765234 which will be read as 7,65,234 the second number is 473225 which will be read as 4,75 73225 The third number is 327001 which will be read as 327001 and the fourth one is 875375 which will be read as 875375 The rest of the digits will also be written in the same format so students let us now solve the second sum of problem set 3 which is read the numbers and write them in figures our first question is 135855 so first we will write the place name and put the digits according to it 1 lakh so 1 will come under lakhs place the second one is 35000 So three will come under ten thousands place, and five will come under thousands place. The next one is eight hundred. So eight will fall under hundreds place, and the last one is fifty five. So five will come under tens place, and the last five will come under the units place. So the number which we will get is one comma three five comma eight five five, which is read as one lakh thirty five thousand eight hundred and fifty five. Let us now see some more examples. A second sum, seven lakh twenty-seven thousand, which will will be written as seven comma twenty-seven comma zero zero zero, because there are no other digits other than twenty-seven thousand. After twenty-seven thousand, there are no other digits. That's why we are filling the space with zero. Third question, four lakh twenty-five thousand and three hundred, which will be written as four. comma 25 comma 300 let us see one last example that is 8 lakh since there is only one digit here 8 so the rest place will be 0 8 comma 00 comma 000 which is read as 8 lakh let us now solve the third sum of problem set 3 using the digits 0 to 9 only once make Five six-digit numbers. Here we have been asked to make five six-digit numbers using the digits zero to nine only once. So our first number is six lakh twenty-five thousand seven hundred and forty-nine. The second number is eight lakh seventy-six thousand five hundred and forty-three. The third number is nine lakh eight thousand seven hundred and sixty-five. And the second last number is. One lakh twenty-three thousand four hundred and fifty-seven. Our last number is five lakh ninety-seven thousand eight hundred and sixty. So, students, now we know about six-digit numbers. Let us now learn about seven-digit numbers. One lakh is a six-digit number. Ten times one lakh is one lakh multiplied by ten, which is equal to ten lakhs. 10 lakh is a seven digit number it is read as 
10 lakh. The greatest six digit number is 9,99,999. When we add 1 to this number, we get the next number, which is 10 lakh. 10 lakh is a seven digit number. To write this, one place to the left of 1 lakh has to be introduced. In the number 10 lakh, the digit 1 is in the 10 lakhs place. While reading a seven digit number, first read the digits in the lakhs place and then read the rest of the 5-digit number. Let us start with problem set 4. Read the numbers and write them in words. Our first number is 25, 79, 899, which will be read as 25,79,899. Your 25 stands in the 10 lakhs and lakhs place. 79 stands in 1000 and 10,000 place. Whereas 8 stands under 100th place and 99 stands under 10th and units place. Our second quotient is 30, 70, 506, which will be read as 30,70,506. Our third quotient is 50 lakh, which will be read as 50 lakh, since there are no other digits. So it will be read as 50 lakh only. The next one is 80, 01, 000, which will be read as 80 lakh and 1000. Let us solve the second sum. The deposits in the women's cooperative credit societies of some districts are given below. Read those figures. The figures are Pune, rupees 94 lakh 29,000. 408 Nasik 61,7187 and the following. So let us now solve this question. Our question was to write those figures in words and read them. So the first figure is rupees 94,29,408 which is of Pune. Our second figure was of Nasik which is Rupees 61,7187. And the third one is of Nagpur, which is Rupees 46,53,570. Similarly, we will also write for the remaining ones. 